Hi, this is Prak with IRPMD. Today we are looking at a Kindle Fire. Uh, this is a customer of mine. Chief complaint is that you can see it works uh, when it's plugged in. And when you unplug it, it holds for a little bit and the battery completely dies out like that. So what we need to do in this case, the diagnostic is the battery needs to be replaced. So what you're going to need is a set of screwdriver tools, Phillips, and some flatheads. And of course, uh, you can buy placement battery. Make sure you get the authentic one for the Amazon Kindle HD. And I got this one off eBay for about, I think about 25 bucks. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually open up, take it out of the sleeve. Okay. <clears throat> so what you have here is the back of the Kindle. All right, and what we need to do is actually pull out the top sleeve right here to access the back cover. So what we're going to do with on the uh, wedge tool is to get underneath here, okay. hardest thing to do at first is to get underneath, uh, once you pull one up, everything else should be fairly easy. All right, so now you get the green pry tool underneath here and just run it around. Once you get that, you get a, a guitar pick. Okay. Just go ahead and pull it up. Run it in all the edges. Alright, once you get it open, you can actually open the rest with your hand, pull it carefully. Alright, turn it around. See my fingernails to lift this up. And again, be really careful around the edges here. There's a few buttons and volume knob that's not actually fastened, it's just Notch to a groove. Okay, so you have this, put it away. So, as you can see, here you have the battery to be replaced, and you can see right here this is where the battery well is. So, with a screwdriver, with a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead. First thing you do is detach the battery from the logic board. Okay. Now the battery is detached. Unscrew the battery. Okay, and you will notice there's a battery tab should come off, but there are a few things to worry about. There's actually another battery, another screw right here holding onto the battery. And this is an antenna flex that's hugging to the battery case. All right, so you got four screws off. Now I'll go ahead and safely remove the battery. And again, let's go ahead and remove the flex cable for the Wi-Fi antenna. Right here. Pull around and add a little heat here to loosen the grounding plate. Alright, so 
red penelope for the final screw here. All right, go ahead and remove the battery. Okay. And put the new battery in. Go ahead and put all the screw back in place. First thing I want to put back is the panel out. Then the Phillips. And the, it is a common thing with these uh, Kindle Fire HD. Uh, the battery is good for about one and a half years and then they just start going bad. These are fairly expensive so you really don't want to trash it. Uh, it's cheaper just to just replace the battery. And if you don't want to do this yourself and you live in Richmond, Virginia, just swing by my shop and we can definitely do it for you. Go ahead and put the Wi-Fi back on. Around the battery. and connect it back to the slot. Go ahead and reattach the battery to the logic board. All right, and we should be good to go. We're gonna power it up just to test it out. Okay, power button's right here on the side. See Kindle Fire coming right up. So go ahead, that's just powering up. Put the plate back on. Okay, it should snap back into place. Fairly easy. And there you go. Brand new battery for the Kindle Fire. This is Prac with iRepair MD. Safe repair. Open the rest with your hand, pull it carefully. Alright. Turn it around. See my fingernails to lift this up. And again, be really careful around the edges here. There's a few buttons and volume knob that's not actually fastened, it's just notched to a groove. So you have this, put it away. So as you can see, here you have the battery to be replaced. And you can see right here, this is where the battery well is. So with a screwdriver, with a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead. First thing you do is detach the battery from the logic board. Okay. Now the battery is Attach. Unscrew the battery. All right. All right. So red penelope for the final screw here. Go 
go ahead and remove the battery. Okay. And put the new battery in. and put all the screw back in place. First thing I want to put back is the penelope. Then the Phillips. And right here to access the back cover. So what we're going to do with on the uh, wedge tool is to get underneath here okay. hardest thing to do at first is to get underneath uh, once you pull one up everything else should be fairly easy alright so now you get the green pry tool underneath here and just run it around once you get that, get a, a guitar pick. Okay. Just go ahead and pull it up. Run in all the edges. Once you get it open, you can actually right. Okay, and you will notice it's a battery tab should come off but there are a few things to worry about it's actually another battery another screw right here holding on to the battery and this is an antenna flex that's hugging to the battery case all right so you got four screws off now go ahead and safely remove the battery and again let's go ahead and remove the flex cable for the Wi-Fi antenna right here pull around and add a little heat here to loosen the grounding right? Hi, this is Prak with IRPMD Today we are looking at a Kindle Fire. Uh, this is a customer of mine. Chief complaint is that you can see it works uh, when it's plugged in. And you unplug it, holds for a little bit, and the battery completely dies out like that. So what we need to do in this case, diagnostic, is the battery needs to be replaced. So what you're going to need is a set of screwdriver tools, Phillips, and some flatheads, and of course uh, you can buy placement battery. Make sure you get the authentic one for the Amazon Kindle HD. And I got this one off eBay for about I think about 25 bucks. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually open up take it out of the sleeve. Okay. <clears throat> so what you have here is the back of the Kindle. All right. And what we need to do is actually pull out the top sleeve.